Hey, Charlie Mitchell here. Welcome to my shop. Um, today, I, I figured I'd just put together this video real quick and let you know what I'm up to. I decided that um, uh, I was going to get away from making my boxes right now because what I do is when, when I make the double, double dovetail joints and stuff and I glue this all together and I sand it all down, I sand it on my, um, I got a little four inch belt sander there. I sand down the dovetails and it ends up making the boards or the sides and fronts of the boxes uh, concaved. So I went to the tool show uh, and got some ideas and I decided that I was going to make a drum sander. Um, and I wanted to be as inexpensive as I possibly could to make one. Uh, my shop's really small so I took some dimensions, I drew up a, a SketchUp print and you guys can have it. I got uh, a cut list I put together and uh, looked up some bearings through uh, Master Macar and some shafts. Um, the design, I'll go through it with a couple of videos and we'll see what happens. See if it works actually. I made the box uh, itself out of MDF. Went down to the local store and bought a couple of pieces of two feet by four foot MDF. Uh, cut up the sides and gussets that I'm going to put in there. I don't have a lathe, so I took and cut 18 pieces, uh, three quarters thick, and I, I made them an octagon shape. I haven't glued it together yet. This is just so that I know what side is what. I'll drill a one inch hole through there and glue them all together on the shaft and sand them down and uh, hopefully it'll be round and it'll work good. When I put this thing together, uh, I'm not gonna glue it and just screw it together. I'm actually going to tongue and groove the whole thing together and, and then I'm going to put the gussets in the sides there and hopefully that will make it strong enough. I'm going to use uh, some three quarter inch plywood uh, and put it down into the, uh, into the sides there. I'm going to put some barons on there, run the shaft through it, mount a motor on the side in here and uh, put some pulleys on there, put a top on it, see what happens. So let's cut some grooves. Okay, this is what I came up with. I tongue and groove the sides and the base and uh, glued it all together with the gussets that are in there. I drilled a hole for ventilation for the vacuum, vacuum system and I cut a little uh, cutout right in here and that's where the shaft is actually going to go down to spin the, uh, the drum for the sander. Um, so it came out pretty good. That's the box. And tongue and grooving it, I, it came out great. Uh, I did find that um, some of the uh, MDF was um, fragile, so I had to be really careful uh, putting it together. And what I ended up doing is putting a couple of uh, pieces of quarter by quarter stock in the grooves that were on the outside here so it, would, it wouldn't break on me after I got it done. So <clears throat> now that I had that done, I built this cradle. And this cradle will house the drum and create a vacuum area, but it will also stabilize it. So when I bolt the barons onto the sides in here and put the shaft in there, and I'll bolt it right through the box, it will uh, it should be pretty stable. So this fits in just like that, drops down in between the gussets, and came out good. I'll show you a series of pitches uh, right after this. That's it. Take a look at these pictures now. Now once I have this all completed, um, the shaft is going to come out through this side over here. I'll have some pulleys. I'm going to mount the motor right on the side here, so I'll have a pulley down here to run that. And then I'll have a venting system. Uh, we'll stick in there, two inch, two inch venting system. Yeah, fits right in there and I'll come out that way there. 
can see it yeah that way there so the vent uh, shaft sticking out here with the pulley and then the motor mounted on the back side of here running this way and then all I got to do now is take these 18 3 quarter inch octagon shape pieces that I made and once I get the sanded down it should be about four inches in diameter and then that will fit right inside there actually further down obviously but just like that then I'll sand it down get it round put a top on it and then I'll use the top to get my height for the sanding and it should work fine now that the weekend's done I'll um, wait until next weekend to get the shaft in there and drill all the holes in the octagon pieces um, and I'm going to spend some time on SketchUp uh, drawing up each individual piece on this box and the cradle that will fit in there. So once that's done um, I'll have it ready and if you guys want it um, shoot me an email and I'll send it off to you. Uh, I also have the drawings for the bearings and the shaft, so I'll uh, incorporate that all into the, uh, the SketchUp drawing. And the barons will go on the sides, bolt on here, baron will go on the side, bolt that cradle in, the shaft, the roller, motor, and we're all set. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching and su subscribe, uh, leave me a message, let me know what you think, and if you have any suggestions, thanks.